iPad worked out I hope so far that first video went good we're gonna work on the second video now <laughs> all right we're on Luke chapter 21 <clears throat> and he looked up and saw the rich man casting their gifts into the treasury and he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites and he said, Of a truth, I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in into the offering of God. But she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had. And as some spoke of the temple, how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts, he said, As for these things which ye beheld, the day will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now, I want to make it plain and clear. You got that wall over there. They sit there and they bounce back and forwards in. And they put little pieces of paper in. That has nothing at all to do with this temple. Because as you can uh, hear and read, if you get your Bible and read with me, that <clears throat> it says, that shall not be thrown down. The whole temple was took apart. And it was there was no more. I mean, every stone was took apart. Because the Roman soldiers wanted every piece of gold that was in that temple. Alright. Um, and they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass. And he said, Take heed that you be not deceived. See here, he don't want you to be, be deceived on the, the temple against that wall. Because that's a false wall. Um, Take heed that you be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go you not therefore after them. So if you hear, don't go. I if you hear, I'm Christ, come see me. I'm Christ, come see me. Don't don't even stay put. But from the way I'm looking at the way the churches are doing now, they're gonna do their best to go. And yeah, I keep up with the uh, TV preachers. Some of them, anyway. Not very many. Alright, but when you shall hear of wars and a commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass. But the end is not yet. We're all, we are going through that. Alright. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, 
and kingdom against kingdom. I want you to put like, like nations against nations. This is like whites against the black, the blacks against the white, the white against the Mexican, the uh, Islam against the Christians, so-called, and stuff like that. And kingdom against kingdom is like um, Iran against Iraq, against uh, Israel, against America, and so forth. All right. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. Now, we're already having earthquakes in the ocean. So that one is most indefinitely. And it means also various places. So if people didn't have earthquakes there, they're going to have them. All right. And famine and pestilence. So we already have our famine. And we're going to get worse than our famine. The food is going to be taken away from the American people. I hope you're ready. I hope you stock some food up. Because it's going to be taken away. And pestilence. Now this word pestilence can also go with this stupid virus. And... If you guys want to believe what is going on, and all, then, hey, you go for it. Look, you either stand for God or you stand for your government. And to me, myself, I'm going to stand for God, for the Creator Father God. And I'm going to say all this is a lie. Where Trump went to the hospital, he didn't even spend his 14 days in quarantine. So, look, this is to you pesky citizens. All right. And fearful sights and great signs shall be there be from heaven. Now, if you watch, you can see it. But therefore, all these that shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, to deliver you up to the synagogue and into the prison, Bring being brought before the king and rulers for my name's sake. Now, I know you guys, y'all are not seeing that, but I guarantee you that this is going on right here today. All right, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your heart not to meditate. What ye shall answer. Don't just go. And, the, and and while you're in there. And you're waiting or anything. You start giving God. Uh, the creator father God. All the glory. And Jesus Christ. And give him all the glory. Get in his presence. While you have the opportunity. For I will give you a mouth. And wisdom. Which all. Your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. You hear that? He, he, they're not going to be able to resist whatever you say. And I say, yeah, I definitely give the Creator God a God, ugh, Creator Father God and His Son all the glory, and get in His presence, and let Him speak. And don't be afraid. That's one thing. Everybody's got our, is afraid of this invisible corona, and uh, they're in, they are so afraid. Uh, being afraid like this is saying, "Oh, uh, I don't trust in you, God. I don't trust in you, God. I don't trust you. I have to trust the government because the government says it's a." A virus out here I've got to be worried about instead of living your life it is you know the common cold is more uh, harsh on a person than this is alright and ye shall be portrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolk and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death <coughs> And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. 
but there shall not a hair of your head perish. <clears throat> in your presence possess ye your souls. Can you understand that? And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the destruction thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judah flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter into. So in other words, if you see these armies come in, go. Get out now. And that also will comply to here. If you see them, find somewhere to go and hide. Get out of the towns. Get out in the country. Get away from it. Because they're coming into the town. Alright. For these... Be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that, have, that give suck in those days. For there shall be a great distress in the land, and wrath upon these people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be laid away captive into all nations. You hear this? All nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars and upon the earth the stress of nation with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, a tsunami, men's heart fell on them fear, and for looking after these things which are coming on the earth, for the power of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Oh, wait a minute here now. Wait just a second here. I do not, do not hear not one time I'm going to rescue you before this happens. There is no such thing as a rapture. So if you want to hang on to that Catholic doctrine, you go right on ahead and you, you hang on to it. But right here, there is no rapture. You are going to be put in place right along with everybody else. You, it's, it's going to be everywhere. If you haven't died before this happens... You are not getting raptured out of here unless you want to call your uh, natural death or your suicide or somebody killing you. Your rapture go right on ahead. All right. And when these things began to come to pass, then look up and lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. In other words, he's saying, I'm a coming back. And he spoke to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own self that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise, ye, when you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. So now, what we want to start looking for is... All these armies going in to Jerusalem. We want to look for that. Um, so likewise, when you see all these things come to pass, know that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily, I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Now, if you look, this book is going to burn, no matter if they take their books and burn them and all, then hey, it's still going to come to pass because he spoke it, and he knows better. And take heed to yourself, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surf, surfeiting bleeding, and drunkenness and caring of this life. And so that day come upon you unaware. Don't get into drinking and 
all this stuff. Keep studying. Keep he, he wants to see people studying and reading his word and understanding what he has said in this word here. All right. Um, For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. I pray that I'm right. I don't pray as much as I should. I really honestly don't, and I'm going to let you guys know that. But I do pray, and I do believe that when I do pray, that my prayers are going to Him. I really honestly feel that because sometimes me and Rick can get in a singing here and, uh, and and we're just giving him all the praise. We give him more praise than we t uh, pray to him. We lift him up and we, we know he's our God. All right. Uh, and in the daytime, he was teaching in the temple and at night he went out and a boat in the mount that was called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. So people would come down. See, he had nowhere to lay his head. So he mostly stayed in uh, the Mount of Olives. So I wish I could have been there. Who knows? I would... I believe I, I I would pray that I that I would be one that would want to hear every word that comes out of his mouth and all. Um. All right, we're gonna do twenty two tomorrow. Thanks for all y'all that listens and all. And I know you guys don't like leaving comments and all. Um. But hugs and kisses to y'all. If you would like to donate to Poor Man's Sewing. Come down here to Poor Man's Sewing. Then come up here and look for About. And right here you can donate to the channel. And every donation is really appreciated. We thank you very much and I hope you have a blessed day.